today when I just watched you warm up, uh, you know, I could tell already you already described me balls going out to the left. So yeah. I could see the club face was like this coming in, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so uh, I'm thinking, okay, let's attack the club face first, show you how to manage that, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, from there, we kind of attack trajectory, Yeah. right? Right. As you're, you're hitting, you're topping, going over the ball, club face open and wild stuff there. Yeah. Your posture was a little close and kind of just didn't know where to go. Yeah. And so I helped you just get a little further away from the ball and get yourself set up with this tilt already. Yeah. Then I explained with that can there how to, how to come up and over something. Yeah. Help you, yeah. you know, lift this club up in an upward trajectory, et cetera. Uh -huh. And I also mentioned that most likely when players do that, that they leave the face open because they're dragging the handle up like this. That leaves the face open. Then you got to be, you know, like you said on one of them, I think you said, hey, I hit it, I hit it up, but it still had that thing out there. I say, yeah, yeah that's the conundrum is like you've got it. You got to know what you just missed there, just a little bit of the twist. Right. You yeah. know, and then it's like you can kind of assemble your thoughts for the day and go. So this suction dart, if I just leave it right here, put it up, see if it's attached is there. So you'll put it like this. You can see the dart there. Mm -hmm. Then when you, you that dart's pointing out that way. Yeah. Right. Then as you go back, you want to leave it out that way. You don't want to let it go this way. Okay. Right. So you leave it there, or I could say it's pointing at the target. You could uh, point it to the target line. Yeah. This. Uh huh. Yeah. So whatever way you want to look at it, you've got to point this down here. Okay. And then on the way down, you'll go up and do a. Uh, a phantom swing and you've got to just keep that arrow of Callaway I think it's Callaway to come this way right, mm -hmm. right. instead of coming in here yeah. so when you keep the air this foam um, suction dart there looking at the target you can really start to manage this thing okay right. go ahead. make a practice phantom swing where's that pointing watch that the whole way very good that's on the plane right mm -hmm. Right, there's your, your plane. And then you go back, 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 back and stop. And now you need to get that dart back on this guy, pointing at it. Come on, down, 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 down. Right? So, just so you know, where the barrel of the shaft, what it's doing. Yeah. That palm there is another one that people like. Your left palm could have another dart in there. Okay. And it would be like that also. Yeah. So you keep the left palm to the ground, okay, okay, on the way back and on the way down. Okay. Now your goal is to hit nice shots on there. Is you got to hit the tee and the ball together. Uh -huh. so okay. You should hear the click of the tee. So goal would be to just hit the tee. Okay. You know, even when we work the dart, sometimes the face gets a little still open, right? Yeah. Um, go ahead and set up there again. So what I was saying is, what is releasing? Releasing is the twisting, right? Twisting of the shaft. Yeah. Twisting of the arms. Twisting of the hands. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. uh, twisting of the bicep, tri whatever you know. And if you're coming in like this and you're sliding down, uh, you ever seen Hogan's glass plane? Uh -uh. Okay. Anyway, so you see the powder and the club face. Yeah. If it starts sliding down a mountain and doesn't change, then we're going to tow it all day long. So it can go watch the same thing. Look out there and watch it tumble down the mountain. The club head is now coming down a ski slope. Yep. As you kind of just look and go, oh, okay, well, uh. I, can th I can throw all the kids off there. <laughs> <laughs> or I can hold them on there. So you, you, releasing is this. Yeah. Releasing for you is going to be back here and feel that's right, feeling a twist over. Okay. You should try one soft. Okay. Try like a s soft hit. With 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 a shortish backswing, put a lot of twist before you get to the ball. There you go. That thing was actually curving to the right there. Did you see that? To me, it feels awkward, but the twist needs to be happening back here. Well before you get to the golf ball. Because I I feel like I've been kind of maybe twisting at or a little after the ball. I yeah, guess. yeah. So that's early for me, but yeah. Yeah, okay. and those last two balls had that curve to the right. So um, that's wonderful to find something that does the work we need, right? Yeah. Okay. Shaft twisting, forearm fingers, everything's twisting before it gets to the ball.
because the next question was going to be from you is like, well, how do I hit it up in the air now? Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So get rid of the slice, which is like Pulitzer Prize. I'm <laughs> getting taken off on an elephant with the whole thing, you know, in Thailand, right? Yeah. But now it's like, okay, I got the right curving draw, but they're a little low. What's a higher, how can we, okay, we already figured out how to change the direction of the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, well, how can I change the trajectory? Right. Okay. Well, we've got to make sure the ball's up forward. You got to make sure that your spine is leaning back. Got yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And then when you come in, you want to make sure your head is behind your hips. Okay. All right. So you set some of that up at address with that 10 degrees of, of tilt, right? Right. I think this will be helpful for you just to understand what you need to do, right? Yeah. So if I need to go up and over this, the only way I can do it is to stay back here. Yeah. Okay. And unwind. And while I'm doing that, I'm feeling this twist over. So A on the list was to get the club face different. Yeah. And then when you get the club face different, you can start working on the path. Okay. And in the, the you know, low point of the swing, uh, AKA, yeah, we want you to swing up with drivers. So when you have something in the way here, and I'm just going up and over, how am I going up and over? Well, I'm tilting my right shoulder back and up this way, and yeah. I'm staying behind with my head this way. So right. balance wise, at the end of the swing, it feels to me like my weight is all on my front foot, and I think that might be a baseball relic. Okay. Is that not supposed to be the case? It's supposed to still be kind of backwards? Yeah, you'll have pressure back. Like I was saying earlier, it's like you'll have, uh, as, as a lefty, you'll look like your right leg is in line all the way up to my left pec, uh -huh. this leg. Okay. If that's the case, then it's like me throwing a medicine ball up there, um, okay. you know? Yeah. So go back there and go over the can a little bit. Yeah, right there's good. Aaron, just kind of just lean back on the right leg and go, yeah, there you go. Make sure you take your time and, and have it twisted. Go slow motion, I think. Okay, yeah, do it again. And right back, back down, down. Good. So it's low here and the face is good to go, right? Uh huh. There you go. Go right up and over it that way. So what have you learned today? What, what's helping you here? A lot. Okay. Um, so keeping this wrist, I what I'm thinking about is taking the throttle off on a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking about here, keeping this one down as I'm coming through, which is tough. It's, um, and well, then the, the knee thing with the, or the front leg with the spine thing is helping yeah. a lot. So the front leg looking like it's all the way back to the left yeah. pack, right? Right. Basically, instead of being here. Yep. Good. Before, I Good. was definitely throwing a lot of weight forward and probably ending up with my spine going forward. Could been, yeah. That's good. Okay. okay. You got it? Yeah. Let her rip. Good, good job, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that felt pretty good. Hey, everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.